This video is to explain the difference between the Innocenti Magneto flange setup compared to the Casa Performance alternative. Now, there are two types of Innocenti Magneto flange, and this one uses a three piece needle bearing setup. The large outer track will normally fit down into the flange on top of the shim, it is then followed by the actual bearing itself and then the inner track with its shim goes directly onto the crankshaft. Now this is primarily designed to aid eventual removal of the track. Now the track would normally go all the way down onto there. Um, this bearing is lubricated by grease because it's closed within with this large oil seal on the inside and the smaller seal, single lip oil seal on the outer side. These are notoriously prone to breakage, especially around here upon removal, which probably can be expected because the parts are half a century old. Now, to alleviate all the problems of this magneto flange setup, Casa Performance has produced this part, which is a very high quality, very precisely made CNC manufactured flange. This has been reinforced in all the key areas. You have no more problems with breakage with this lip coming away. It's a lot bigger than the original, but this is a plug and play replacement part. Now this flange uses a two piece bearing and the bearing itself fits down into the flange and it's held in place with this large circlip. Again, the track would go onto the crankshaft and it's fitted without the shim underneath. Now, the main advantage of this setup compared to the original is the fact that this only has one single oil seal, which is a double lipped Viton oil seal fitted to the outside on here. Now, as you can probably see, there are also three large grooves which are machined on the inner face. This is to allow petrol mix, i.e. the oil within the petrol, to enter into the bearing and lubricate it. There is also another hole here, which is difficult to see. Now this hole allows the same mix to enter into the flange and lubricate the inner track of the oil seal. It is a massive difference when fitting this to an engine compared to the original because instantly, for the moment you fit it, the engine spins much more freely because there is a single oil seal compared to the two originals. As this is a three-speed Louis 50 engine, we need a 36 millimeter wide crankshaft. Repeat, the crankshaft is the same as the 100cc or the J125 three-speed type, which is 36 millimeter wide here. That is most important or it will not fit into the engine casing. Uh, this has a 48 millimeter Mazzucchelli Conrod that's been put into this crankshaft. This is just a standard tight crankshaft with a Mazzucchelli Conrod, which is fine for the CP135 in its out-of-the-box standard format. A couple of variations that we've done. We've also done a CNC aluminium drive side oil seal plate with a double-lipped Viton oil seal. Now this has an added advantage that it also has a Viton O-ring, which then fits in underneath here. Now this O-ring basically eliminates the need for the halite washer. So no halite washer, you'd have a main bearing, this oil seal plate, and they have three screws that use an Allen key. This is a Louis 50cc engine casing, a three speed casing we're using to show you how to fit a CP135 kit. Now we've removed the cylinder studs from here. The face has also been skimmed. The studs are these, which are the short type. Now these are common for all 50 and 75 cc small frame Lambretta models. The longer studs were fitted as standard to Lambretta Cento 100 cc and all 125 models, both three and four speed. These actual studs have been reproduced now by us as well, and we've actually increased the length of the thread for the top section. Okay, we're now going to fit the four studs into the engine casing. We use a medium strength Loctite or similar, and we just apply a small drop on here. 
and that's enough. Using a product such as brake cleaner on a clean cloth or paper, remove any excess Loctite from the base of the studs, leaving it perfectly clean. What we're going to do now is we're going to heat this area up here which is aluminium, so it's going to expand enough that I can then fit this bearing in. This is the drive side bearing. Now we put the engine case in face down and the bearing we fit in the hole being careful not to touch the actual casing. As we said, the CP135 kit can be used with all standard parts if need be. Now, we fit the oil seal into the plate. It should be a fairly easy fit. A little bit of pressure and you push it down until it's even all the way around. You can feel it as you run your finger around there. And that is a little bit more there. That's perfect. Now that oil seal now is flat and flush. And remember, the spring must always face towards the crankshaft. On any oil seal you fit on a number of crankshaft, the spring always to inwards towards the center crankshaft. This is now ready with the standard slot head screws. Now the screws we're going to fit using a drop of medium strength Loctite, just a small drop, you don't need much, that's all you need. And now they're ready to go. Before we fit these into the engine casing, we need to fit the halite washer. So that goes down into there. To help an engine spin more freely, you can put a very small drop of grease and run that in the groove between the two lips of the oil seal. Now, put it on there and just run that around. This helps the engine spin much more freely initially. That's now ready to go. Right, the oil seal is the double lip type. Now remember that this will face this way, so therefore the spring must always face towards the crankshaft. Put that face down, and with a little pressure, evenly on all sides, we force that down into the oil seal holder. When it's even all the way around, you're okay. That's ready to go. At this point, we're going to do our usual trick of putting a very small drop of grease into the recess between the two lips and then just smear that around. This helps the engine tremendously upon initially starting up to spin freely. This grease will, grease will soon disappear once the engine has been started. You take the O-ring and you put that down on top of the bearing inside the casing. So that goes in, fits into there. Once that is seated, like so, see that is perfectly seated all the way around. You then take the oil seal plate I simply drop that down into place. The three screws, again, we're going to add a very small drop of Loctite. 
and then drop the screws down into the hole. Again, tighten the screws up until they just touch the plate. Once all three are about the same height, then you can start to tighten them down. But first of all, get to the point where all three are the same height. The difference between this plate, the Casa Performance plate and the original one is, this does actually sit flush. I, it'd be very, very difficult to actually fit this unevenly. Tighten them fully home, and that's it. Job done.